Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. And today I'll be retouching this image that you see on my screen right now. Alright, so this image was taken with the uh, Sony A7 III as usual. <laughs> and I was shooting in studio. I was using the uh, Godox flash and a, a soft box and also a highlight as you can see under the eye here. And you can see the settings on my screen. So let's get right to the editing. So what I want to do, I want to ensure that I edit this image and keep it as natural as possible. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a duplicate. And then I'm just going to remove all the pimples from her face by using the patch tool. All right. So I'm going to come right here, get the patch tool. And just remove all the pimples real quick. Let's move this up a little bit more. All right, good. All right, um, the mic I usually use, for some reason it stopped working, so I have to use this mic now on my desk until my desk mic <laughs> is um, back in Jamaica. Or, well, I placed the order on Amazon, I'm waiting on the mic to come back. I'm waiting on the mic to come so I can um, I think I should be getting the mic on my birthday which would be October 7th um, which would be tomorrow but I'll be uploading this video um, after my birthday so yeah so all I'm doing now let me just go back is just to remove all the blemishes from the skin I'm not sure what this is right. Okay, that's a mole. Alright. That looks good. I like to use the patch tool because it's faster for me. I'm not sure what tool you use, uh, but the patch tool move works faster for me. All right, so I am through with removing the blemishes. I don't think there's anything else I want to remove. All right, so I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna try to brighten some of these dark areas here. So on the new layer, I'm gonna go to the brush tool. I'm gonna bring my opacity down to, well, I'm gonna bring my opacity to one. Then I'm gonna sample a light area, maybe like right here. And then I'm just going to paint on these dark areas here. Do before and after. Yeah, I'm just going to lighten up these areas. Just going to sample by holding on an alt and sample the area I'd like to use. Sample. Yeah, these areas look a bit dark, so I want to brighten them. And there are a lot of different methods you could actually use to, you know, brighten a particular area. If the makeup is too dark or, you know, you did not have enough light to that area. But in this case, it was the makeup, I believe. It was a little bit dark. She did her own makeup as well. Right. So, yeah. That's it for now, until I feel like I need to make some more adjustments to those areas. I think I can make some more adjustments still. Let me just find a bright area, maybe like the nose right there and see. All right, that's too bright. I'm gonna find like a little darker area, maybe like right there. We, I could actually use Dodge and Burn to do this as well, but yeah, I'd rather using the brush and yeah the, a color all right so that's it so what I'm gonna do now is some dodge and burn well not dodge and burn I'm gonna do frequent separation I'm gonna keep my radius at four and then I'm gonna come down to the low frequency layer right here and then I'm gonna come over here to the mixer brush for the mixer brush setting I'm gonna bring this to five the wet five everything else is going to remain the same 
and ensure that this is cleared and this is selected and we're just going to even out the skin I'm gonna keep it as natural as possible I don't want the skin to look blurred out or has a have a plastic look to it don't want that so I'm gonna keep it as natural as possible I don't want any of my images look like plastic at all trust me it's really easy for that to happen so you have to be mindful when you're doing your edits and to keep it as natural as possible so you don't want to overdo it so that's what I've done so that's the before and after uh, something is not right right there because I use the white um, the white the light area here when I was using the brush what I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that by using a dodge a burn layer actually you get the brush 1% for the flow and I'm just gonna yeah hmm let me just lower the opacity a little bit I think I like that all right so I'm gonna go down to the arm and do the same thing again with the dodge and burn, not dodge and burn, uh, the mixer brush. Let's go down in one line for the arm, then for the chest. All right, so that's it. Let's look at the before and after for everything. So before, and after the next step now I'm gonna clean the eyes so I'm gonna come here to where it says clean teeth and eyes and guys you can download the actions by using the link in the description all right so yeah so just gonna press the brush my opacity is gonna be at 40 well not the opacity the flow I'm gonna come up here scroll up to the eye and just paint the eyes then I'm gonna zoom out and look at it because you don't want the eye to look fake so I'm just gonna lower the opacity a little bit that should work then I'm gonna go well I'm gonna create a new layer and then I'm gonna remove the this right here so, all right so that looks good I'm going to brighten the eyes a little bit by using the curve. So I'm going to click on the curve right here and bring this up. Then click the curve layer, which is the, the masking layer. And then control I to invert. And then B for the brush. Ensure, ensure that the I'm painting with white when I'm painting on black. And then just paint the eyes. My flow opacity is at um, 40, as you can see. Right, let me just paint the teeth as well All right, that looks good all right so the next step now is to do some dodge and burning I'm just gonna start with the dodge I'm gonna change my flow to 1% while I'm on the brush and then I'm just gonna work on the areas that I need to get brighter at the nose bridge um, side of the face to get it a little bit brighter under the eye both areas what you want to ensure is that when you're doing the face you want it to blend you don't want it to have any harsh you, you want it to have a smooth tran transition actually so that's what I'm trying to do right now so I'm just using good all right right here all right so I'm just going to delete this frequent separation layer because I'm done with it because if I try to create a new frequent separation layer it's going to give me an error not sure why but yeah I'm gonna create a new frequent separation layer 
and then I'm going to remove some of these pimples or some of these blemishes real quick all right that looks good all right so hmm, yeah that looks good all right so then the next thing now is that if you realize the face doesn't match the hand we're gonna try to see how well we can um, match it now so I'm gonna go to I'm gonna create a new layer. Control Shift Alt E to create a new layer. Control J to duplicate it. And then I'm gonna go to Camera Raw by going to Filter and then um, Camera Raw. And then I'm going to just play with the curve right here to see if I can darken the face a little bit. As a matter of fact, I think I will just brighten the arm instead of adjusting the face. So I'm just going to create a, 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 what do you call it, a mask. I'm going to hold on on Alt and then press the mask tool right there. And then I'm going to get the brush, put it at 100% for the flow. The opacity is 100% as well. And I'm just going to paint the arm. I'm going to get it brighter because I don't think I want to adjust the face. All right, so that's close enough. Face looks a little bit brighter though, but let me just use curve right here and just bring it down a little bit like that. Then control I to invert and then I could just paint the face again. Hmm, I think this works. I think it looks good, but the face it doesn't look smooth enough it doesn't look refined at all and this is <laughs> this is what i go through at times trust me not all my images are perfect and it takes a very long time for me to edit it um i'm going to create a new frequency separation uh action again and i'm going to see if i can refine the face and sometimes i go overboard because it's really hard sometimes to, you know, get the face how I actually want it. So sometimes the images look um, overdone. And trust me, I really don't want to do it like that. But I mean, it happens. And sometimes it's out of my control. Or maybe I just need to learn a different editing process when I have images like these. So what I'm trying to do now is to blend the face some more. And try not to overdo it trust me it will show all right I think I like what I have there right here at the face right here at the side of the face looks washed out a bit how do I fix this I don't know um, but maybe just playing with the colors should fix it all right I'm going to create a new layer again Control J to duplicate the layer. I'm gonna to go to camera raw on the filter and I'm gonna apply my um, what do you call this? My preset and see if I can adjust the colors a bit. Mm, I think I like this but i'm going to lower the opacity like. let me call you about me i do one video all right need to put my phone on silent all right so lower the opacity on this all right and then create a new layer again I think I'm okay with this, but <laughs> the image does not look <laughs> as best I was or how I the image does not look as best how I would want it to look. But trust me, not all the time you're gonna have a really good image, which is which is why I suggest to always have a makeup artist 
because sometimes the model may do their makeup and it's awesome but sometimes you know um it may not come out you know like how you want it to so the editing will be easier for you but trust me editing is easier if you have a makeup artist a professional makeup artist um so you don't have to go through all of this trouble but i'm still gonna finish editing the image and then i'm gonna upload it because trust me not all the time you're gonna have a really awesome image let me turn this image into what's happening here let me turn this image into black and white and see what it looks like how do you do black and white again? I think it's Control U. And we could do. No, I think it's Control Shift U. Yeah. So, I'm not sure if I like the black and white. <laughs> so, I'm going to delete it. But what I could maybe do to hide some other flaws is to um, like give it a. A certain look like a flim type of look who knows I, I'm gonna try that so I'm gonna go to camera raw and then I'm gonna try to use one of those wait one of those um, mm, preset that comes with it so Oh, better yet, what I could maybe do is, but I think I like this though. I think this bring off the image a little bit. What do you think guys? I think I like this, but I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna go to uh, my lookup. Um, I'm gonna go to color lookup, where is it? Color lookup is right, right here. And I'm gonna try one of these. yeah <laughs> nah i'm not gonna do that <laughs> i'm gonna do this i think this would work i like this and then i could maybe lower the opacity a little bit maybe like that uh, yeah I'm gonna lower the opacity and then maybe try one of these um blended options here See which one of these could just give me a nice look. Let me just but trust me guys if you're going through your editing process and the image is not coming out like how you want it, I would suggest that you choose another image or <laughs> well it all depends though. If it's for a client, you have to ensure that you get a professional makeup artist so you don't go through any problems this was actually a test shoot that i did so i can choose whether if i want to do it how i want to do it so this is the look i'm going with i'm going with the, with this dissolved look so the image is finished what i need to do now is to add some blue in the shadows and then maybe i could do maybe i could just play out the colors a little bit more by going to camera raw again but i like this oh no what's happening when i create a new layer it hides my effect. <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything else. This is the finished product. I'm not gonna do anything else on it. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys like this um, video and stay tuned for another. Oh, you know what? Before I I close off the video, let me crop it. So I'm gonna go to the crop tool. You can press C on the keyboard for the crop tool. Go to four to five ratio, and then you can crop the image for Instagram. So that's what I'm gonna crop it at like this. Tip, 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 tip. Right, not sure what why did why that happened. Hmm, why is it? Let me do. Awesome. So this is the image that I will be uploading to my Instagram, and then. I'm going to add my logo to it. All right. 
put it right here and that's it so all you have to do now is to go to file um, export save for web change the width to 1080 and you're done that's the image upload it to instagram save it upload it to instagram thank you guys for watching this video and stay tuned for another video and thank you for subscribing and all the likes and stuff like that thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for another one as i've said before <laughs> bye bye